so this time we are a little bit more aware of that um, the previous one was when um, he re-trapped my army and he threw me there so I had to do a little bit of chest adjustment so I could maintain that back but this time as soon as I see that he's gonna be trapping my arm <clears throat> and he's trying to go for it I'm just gonna do a quick jump to the other side it's kind of he's getting ready to go and I'm gonna be already waiting for him on the other side so he's gonna fall into my trap let's say like that instead of me falling to his trap the things are gonna get twisted now so on some here He's gonna trap my army there, and as soon as I see this happening, he's right in a vulnerable position here. So what am I gonna do? I'm not gonna wait for him to um, to roll me on the other side. Like I said before, now I'm a little bit more aware of the, the thing. So as soon as I see this happening, I'm just gonna jump and pull him to the other side. And I always try to have my ear on ear. I always try to be careful with my head above his head or below his head, I always want to get very close. And once I do this jump, one of the most important things here is about his hips, okay? So once I go there, my goal is to have my knees right here. Look at this. So I'm gonna be here. As soon as I see this happening, see, I'm not gonna even wait for him to go there. I'm just gonna jump. And once I jump, I don't jump like this. And now his hip is gonna come on top of my belly here, I'm gonna lose the back, okay? So this is a very, very common mistake that people do. <clears throat> so once I'm here, and then he's gonna trap. As soon as he, he, he traps my arm here, I'm just gonna jump and look, I go like a backpack here on him. And this momentum is gonna bring him to me like this, okay? Sometimes, I'm gonna fall on the side here. I'm not gonna even have my hooks yet, but as he's on top of my leg, it's a little easier to just circle hooks in. See? So sometimes I don't even have people's, um, I, don't have, I don't even have hooks on people, people's back yet. So from here can start working on some submission that we're gonna see later as well, like a, a clock choke. Okay, even if I don't have the, the back there, if I don't have the hooks, but just so you know, having the legs around is not just good for um, to keep him here, but to also help me score. Okay, because if he was more on top of my knee now, it's way harder to start bringing my leg inside, see? But as I'm having him very close to my groins there, not just to my knee, but to my groins, now it's way easier to start circling legs in, okay? <clears throat> so, it's, uh, I'm gonna do on this side here now. It's a little similar to the other one, but why avoid, um, why letting people be crushing you there if you can use their momentum against themselves, okay? So we're gonna be here, as soon as I see he trapped, look, I start bringing him to the other side, I put one hook in, and now look, my leg, my thigh, my inner thigh is right there on his uh, rib, okay? I'm gonna be here, then if I want to I pull my hook there, I can step, close the body triangle here, I could just maintain here this position, okay? So this is a very, very basic and uh, sleek back tick there. Uh, from from third position.